On April 12, 1981, the Space Shuttle Columbia became the first shuttle to orbit the Earth. This successful launch and landing of Space Shuttle program sparking spacecraft fever throughout the world. Two years later, the Mother Earth News published an article about how to build Space Shuttle from soda bottle. Since then, water rocket gradually become one of popular tool to learn science. The Space Shuttle program finished in July 2011, but Water Rocket survived, spreading the spirit and the joy of scientific journey in the dawn of 21st century to boldly go where no man has gone before. Today, Water Rocket from Soda Bottle become one of the most attractive learning tools. However, most of the launcher too complicated to build distributed and played in remote area. This video propose an answer to this problem with the simple water rocket launchers and field test in Mount Rinjoni Caldera and Mount Batur Caldera, Indonesia, on June 13th to 17th, 2012. Here is the water rocket's launcher. The base of this launcher is rectangle. The pattern can withstand forces that push downward when rockets lift off, easy to build, easy to pack, e carried by hand during hiking session in the outdoor. This launcher system categorized as open nozzle. It is means the rocket nozzle opened as wide as soda bottle throat. Another design called reduced nozzle. It is means, the nozzle open smaller, than soda bottle throat. The open nozzle system is easy, to build cheap, and the parts usually available, in local hardware store. On the contrary, reduced nozzle systems need more craftsmanship, relatively expensive, and the spare parts rarely available, in remote area. As education tools, the first system is adequate. The tip of barrel was made from 3 quarter inch PVC, the diameter of PVC pip is bigger than soda bottle throat. You need to warm the tip of PVC, using fire to make it slightly smaller, and fit inside the throat. This launcher used Ian Clark's trigger system, that had been invented by Ian Clark, Australian hobbyist. Clark's trigger becomes, one of the most favorite water rocket's trigger systems. Clark's locking system use, at least 3 cable tie, and a locking collar. This launcher use, 5 cm of 125 PVC, as locking collar. When activated, the locking collar pushed cable ties, and hold bottle throat. A pressurized soda bottle, can fly only after someone pull the bar, and a pair of rubber, forced the collar to unlock cable ties. The rubber had tied vertically, to reduce horizontal movement. The pull bar will hold the locking collar until someone pulls the string. The string that attached in the bottom of pull bar can be easily pulled at the end of countdown. This string also prevent the launching person bedraggled. This check valve locked in the top of original bottle cap. This modification makes the check valve reusable and interchangeable. In example, you can use the same valve to modify bottle in OS. Utilizing launcher check valve, this soda bottle had been pressured up to 70 pound per square inch. The air pressure inside the bottle pushed bottle wall outward. 
boiled water softened bottle wall, and the pressured air forced the nose gradually shaping to parabolic surface. This kind of surface is enough to reduce drag force that make the flying rocket unstable in subsonic speed. The total cost of this launcher, up to 30,000 rupee or less than 3 US dollar. Now, the time to put this launcher to the test is come. It is the time to disprove the portability and durability of this design in outdoor. The field test is planned to run in Mount Rinjoni, Lombok Island and Mount Batter, Bali Island. Both volcanoes are member of notoriously Ring of Fire. Each mountain has a caldera. Each caldera has a beautiful lake. Each is not choose out of the hat. Mount Rinjoni is the second highest active volcano in Indonesia after Mount Kerinci, island of Sumatra. Rinjoni caldera have a famous volcanic lake called Segaru Anak, more or less means a little sea. It is one of the most amazing caldera in the world. Lies 2000 meters above sea level, hundreds of tourists enjoyed this stunning view each week. Nevertheless Segaru Anak Lake is not an easy target. The easiest and most popular path to reach the lake is from Sembul in Longwang village, 1150 meters above sea level. However we hike from Senaru village, 550 meters lower to Plewongan Senaru 2641 meters above sea level instead of starting from Sembul in Longwang. We need harder track to test launcher's portability and durability. To reach the shore of Segaru Anak, we must continue walk 650 meters down from Plewongan Senaru. After launching, we must get back to Plewongan Senaru before the nightfall. The person then returns to Senaru and hand over the launcher in a working condition to local headmaster's elementary school. The total duration for launching, height from Plewongan Senaru to Segaru Anak Lake, and vice versa must be less than 3 hour without porter. This speed hiking is 1 hour faster than normal time. We do not have time to fix launcher's trouble if happened. To add more stress factor, the team must include children, preferably female, as firing person, instead of experienced adult climber. The launching person will be tortured by steep trap, limited time water, and food, exhausted may be depressed, before liftoff. Test in Rinjoni divided into two sessions. The first session target is to weaken launcher structure through a series of launches. The second session target is to break launcher portability during hiking session to Rinjoni Caldera. The test success only and only if find out the launcher failed to launch the rocket in Segaru Anak Lake Shore. A series of launches begin on Sunday morning, June 10. 2012 in Senaru's first national elementary school. With help from four students, from Motoram University, faculty of Economy Adventure Club, we asked local children to join. We also introduced the pupils to count up and down in three languages, Sosaknese Indonesia and English. Balu, itu, 
Imagining number position in reverse is hard for most people. However, countdown is necessity when you are playing water rocket. Water rocket gate will help them to overcome that problem. Three. One. The second event opened that afternoon in Senaru's football field. There are no water resources near this field. To start the game, these enthusiast pupils have initiative and organize themselves to find out water, borrow a bucket, and bring it together to the field from nearest house. Of course, water rocket game not only demand personal cognition and affection, both personal and organization skill are needed. This is a hidden lesson from Water Rocket for them this afternoon. The third session opened officially in local elementary school on Monday, June 11, 2012. The game plays with help of their teachers. They are using number card to help themselves counting down. Even that day is the first days of national exam. Most of pupils were willing to join until the end of game. Water Rocket surprisingly is not alien here. Another team already introduced this game, according local teacher. Nevertheless, the past Water Rocket, using soft drink powder. This tool not only expensive but also have uncontrollable chemical reaction. It is difficult to develop a systematic math, physics, and language learning from this game. The ultimate field test session happened on June 13, 2012. Without regulatory in force, without cable ties adjustment, without spare part, even tools, the launcher packed and went out to Rinjoni Caldera. In shore of this most beautiful lake, Rinjoni's summit witnessed the moment of truth, the answer of question. Can we find out the weakness? The answer is no. The test failed to find out the weakness. Jessica Prokarsa Benjamin, 12 years old, becomes the first children who ever play water rocket in the Segaru Anak Lake. This launcher had passed the marathon field test in Rinjoni. The next field test goals is to answer crucial question. How intuitively this design is. The test will be run in Batter Caldera, Bali. of tourists visit this island every year. Investment come, stay and enjoyed by the fortunate one, leaving the unfortunate in the dark side. One of dark side of Bali is Batter Caldera, Bangli Regency. Bangli had been known as the one of the poorest regency in Bali. Bangli also the worst in elementary school national achievement test 2012 compared to the rest of Bali. That's why Bangli Fit has our target to participate and witness this second part of test. Regardless its field tested durability and durability, user must be quickly understand this launcher's operation. We have opportunity to test this option in Bali. In Senaru, the experienced person have to demo fully in the first launch. In Bali, the role of an experienced person must be cut to half or better no at all. 
with collaboration with an Akalam community. These field tests coincide with a day when most of Balinese celebrates Saraswati Hola Day. Saraswati is the goddess of knowledge and arts, represents wisdom and consciousness. In line with spirit of Saraswati Hola Day, Water Rocket hopefully will encourage children to rediscover the joy of scientific and arts in daily life. The first session of launch happened in Bellandingen Village's elementary school. Just after they finished Saraswati Day celebration in school. As Senaris did, we asked pupils to count up and down in three languages, Balinese, Indonesia, and English. The test unfortunately failed to show difficulties of this design. Children quickly and systematically understand the basic operation of this launcher. This video show how easy to operate the launcher. The second session happened in Long Kong Hamlet, Songgan Village. In the cliff of Batter Caldera, the game going hot and hotter in the twilight and chilly condition, June 16, 2012. The closing event starting in a chilly and misty Sunday morning, just after sunrise, June 17, 2012. After a series of launches, the launcher dissipating enough heat for the tip of barrel to expand and make the rocket fail to lift off. The system needs a minute to cool down and the launcher will working again. This is some result that escaped during Senaru's test field. No, we understand one of the limit of this launcher. Change in entropy of launcher system, however still a predictable phenomena that came out from second law of thermodynamics. Are you confused? Go to the library and find out what the hell thermodynamics is from physics subject. The amazing scene this morning is not the stunning volcanic caldera, neither water rocket performance, but the children itself. There's enthusiasm. There's passion. Water rocket only a tool that helped them to love, to rediscover, and to celebrate the joy of science, math, and language learning once more, regardless their economic level and achievement in national exam. Thank you for watching, and see you in the next liftoff. Satukan kita aja